My father that uh, had Etna under his skin since a uh, long time because he visited Etna uh, for the first time in the late 90s and uh, it's impossible not to be charmed by the charismatic uh, Etna region and uh, he always tells me that he remembers this big mountain black uh, with the, the white uh, snow on the top that looked like a, a white fur uh, on his shoulder and uh, this place remained in his uh, heart for a long time. And then he met uh, Alberto. <laughs> so Alberto, you who have been making wine on Etna for a long time, tell us a little bit about this new side of the volcano that um, comes through in the wines of Ida. We are in the south side of Etna and the uh, south side is uh, less known than the north part of, uh, which is, uh, more known as uh, the center of viticulture because there are more producers too. Uh, but I think South is very unique because uh, um, it has a different uh, weather. Uh, we have a very old soil in Bianca Villa, for example, 50,000 years soil, and uh, it gives to the wine this diversity, a different. Uh, a personality. What I love about Etna is these uh, differences about uh, uh, personalities. So a wine with uh, great deepness, uh, uh, with uh, rustic uh, uh, energy and with uh, beautiful uh, uh, sweet tannins. So Alberto, um, continuing with you, tell us about the two wines. We have the Etna Rosso and the Etna Bianco. Just give us a brief brief uh, background on the two wines. We are making two wines, uh, white uh, Ida from uh, Carricante grape, which will be our main focus because uh, this uh, uh, new project will uh, focus more and more on uh, Carricante and uh, it's a uh, uh, wine with uh, um, beautiful texture, uh, density, but uh, vibrant, uh, savory, and uh, very mysterious in the nose, I think, with note of incenso and a uh, little bit smoky, so very, very personal. And uh, uh, the Rosso is, of course, uh, Nerello Mascalese, uh, and uh, it's, uh, it comes from Bianca Villa, in fact, it's uh, Etna DOC. And Gaia, so tell us just to finish up a little bit of your experience now, because we are right now in Monforte d'Alba, so we are in the Barolo Appa Appellation, where we're right now tasting. So you have the perspective of someone from Barbaresco or from the Lange now making wine on Etna. So give us a little bit of an of idea of this. Uh, of the differences that you've encountered and of the challenges or the, um, the, the pleasures that you've, you've gained from this experience? The first big pleasure is to work with Alberto and with his family. Uh, it's the same for us, of course. I love of, uh, of Alberto and, uh, and your family this um, seriousness, uh, this, uh, this thing that even when we are in a light moment and we are making a joke, your jokes are always very serious. <laughs> there, is a, there is a big proudness in a, when you talk about uh, your land and, uh, and this is something that we like uh, a lot. And um, it's a place, uh, Etna, that uh, reminds you how uh, little uh, we are and uh, how quiet and respectful we have to be. This is an attitude that we should have uh, always everywhere we go, but when you are there overlooking this uh, gigantic uh, uh, mountain, always smoking uh, uh, in front of you, even more you understand uh, how short is our life and how respectful and quiet we have to be. And uh, this is an attitude that is important in farming land and making wine. Uh, I'll, I'll actually ask one more question and then I'll stop um, that you can maybe both both answer. But the name Ida means her or um, it's a feminine uh, Sicilian pronoun. And I wanted to ask you why that choice and how does that transfer to the uh, personality of the wine? 
The idea came uh, in the first, uh, the first time that uh, we accompanied my father to see the, the property in, in Bianca Villa and we heard uh, Horatio, that yeah. is uh, managing the vineyard, uh, and uh, Horatio was uh, with an, another of his collaborator and they were talking and I heard uh, one of the two saying, uh, um, I'm very worried today because I don't see what she is doing, she, Ida. <laughs> I don't see what Ida is doing. And the other one replied and said, uh, yeah, uh, I think uh, she's, uh, she's very upset today. And so I, I asked to uh, Alberto, who are they talking about? Who is this she? Who is this Ida? And so you explain me that uh, when you say she, she, there is only one she. She is uh, the mountain. This. Uh, fertile, maternal, but also moody uh, and violent severe, no? <laughs> woman that they have to deal with <laughs> for life. And I really like it. And so it became uh, the name of the wine. And Alberto? And for me, Ida is also, no, when we talk about women, all these women that we have in the family. So Gaia, Lucia, Rossana, my mother, my sister Elena. So is, this is... Uh, uh, wine that uh, take uh, energy from these uh, incredible <laughs> women. Thank too. you. Thank you so much. Grazie. Thank you. Ciao.